Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I recently acquired three old Chrome boxes for free. I've never had one of these before, so today I'm going to see if I can reset them and install a different operating system on them. Specifically for this video, I'm going to try to install Bodicera on them. Uh, this way, make it nice into a nice little emulation box. And in a future video, I'm going to try to install Linux on one of them. Maybe something like Linux Mint or Ubuntu. And I think this is going to be a cool little project for me because I've never tinkered with one of these before. So these were used in a retail store to play just like calming music and sounds. And I'm glad I was able to get them because they would probably just end up in a landfill. And this is the uh, Asus CN62 model. And I believe it has an old Celeron processor and I'm guessing only two or four gigs of RAM. It has four USB ports, uh, an HDMI and display port out, uh, and it's got an SD card slot. Now, before I open it up, I'm gonna power it on just to see what it boots into because right now I think it's still locked down to the company that I got it from. I was also able to get all of the power adapters for each one of these, so that was nice too. All right, let's see what happens when I power this on. And yeah, as you can see, I get a uh, login screen here, but it still is managed by uh, the company that previously had this. So I'm going to hit browse as guest. And now I'm just, you know, basically the only thing it looks like I have access to is the uh, Chrome browser. So let's see if I can search the web here. And let's see if we can get on the Mets website. Taking a while to load up. Still waiting. So a little slow. There we go. There is a lot of stuff going on on this particular uh, page. But yeah, it does work, which is great. So now I think I'm going to try to, uh, you know, watch some videos on YouTube. And as you can see, it works well. The only thing I want to do is check out Stats for Nerds. And yeah, as you can see, going to full screen in 1080p, getting a lot of dropped frames here. Should probably just stick with 720p with this. All right, so the Chrome box is functioning, but now what I'm going to do is just turn this off and power it down, and then I'm going to see if I could, uh, you know, reset this and install Bodicera on it. Now, before I do that, I do want to show you the exact processor that I'm dealing with here. This is a Celeron uh, 3215U, and it only has two threads. All right, to get into the Chrome box, you have to flip it over and it has the four uh, rubber pads on it. And you just have to pop these off to get into, uh, there's a screw underneath here. And I will fast forward this part mostly, but uh, just keep in mind, this isn't gonna be a full tutorial, just like a little bit of a guide. And just to show you, hopefully that you can take these Chrome boxes and repurpose them into something different uh, for this video. Hopefully by the end, I can get Batisara installed on this. All right, now let's take a look inside. All right, so it looks like it only has one stick of memory and it's a two gig stick. That's all we're working with here. Uh, I have a Wi-Fi card. And uh, underneath the Wi-Fi card is the SSD, and looks like it's only 16 gigs. That's it, so not too much. So now what I'm going to do is I have to remove a Rights Protect screw, and removing it will allow me to install a different operating system 
on this Chrome box. And once I remove it, I won't need to ever put it back in. I then decided to take one of the RAM sticks from another Chrome box that I had and place it in the one I'm working on to give it a total of four gigs of RAM. Uh, then after that, I'm going to close this up and try to reset it. And if this works, what I'll eventually do is buy two four gig sticks of RAM for a total of eight gigs on this. That should be plenty for you know, emulation or for a Linux machine. And before I continue, I just want to mention that these next few steps, I got help from a great website called uh, Mr. Chromebox and from a YouTube channel called uh, Danimations Tips. And this YouTube channel, I think, is not being updated anymore, but I wanted to give credit where credit is due. Okay, so now I'm going to use a paper clip to press down on the recovery button and then press the power button. And then you'll get this screen. So now I'm in recovery mode. Okay, now I want to switch to developer mode. So while on this screen, I want to hit control D and then take my paper clip again and then press the recovery button again. And then we'll get uh, this screen. And it'll look just like that. So the screen will say the OS verification is off. And then it's going to switch over to developer mode. Now this will take a while. So just be patient. And at this point, I'm just going to uh, fast forward uh, this process. And if you see the screen again, don't worry, just be patient. And as you can see, the screen goes blank again, and then you're gonna see the uh, Chrome logo. So now we're getting somewhere. And now it's gonna search for Bluetooth and USB devices. I do have a USB uh, keyboard and mouse combo connected already, so it's seeing that. So I'm just going to hit continue here. And now at this point, we're going to hit control alt and F2 at the same time. And at the login prompt, we're going to type in Kronos and hit enter. So at this point now, there's a couple of lines of commands that you have to enter. I made some errors while doing it, so I'm just going to highlight or point to the ones that you want to type in. So you just totally avoid my errors. So that first command line was incorrect. Uh, type in where I have the red arrow pointed. That's the one you want to type in first. Okay, now again, just type in uh, where the red arrow is and make sure you are connected to the internet at this point.
and once again just type in where I have uh, the red arrow. And with this second line, once you hit enter, it's going to start downloading the files that you need. There we go. Okay, now at this point, you're just going to hit the number 2 to download the firmware. And here where it says, do I wish to continue, you want to hit Y for yes. And then here we're going to hit Y again. And here it's asking if I want to make a backup of Chrome OS, which I don't, so I'm going to hit N for no. Okay, so now at this point, the uh, Chrome box will be a quote unquote regular computer. So now what I'm going to do is uh, shut this down. And I have a USB drive that has Batisera already installed on it. So I'm going to try to boot into that USB drive and see if Batisera will work on this Chrome box. So here's the USB stick thumb drive that I have a preloaded image of Batisera on this. It's only 128 gigs, this hard drive or this USB drive. And uh, this was like a preloaded image I downloaded from somewhere. I think it was Arcade Punks or Torrent website. I'm not quite sure. Uh, but I'm going to plug this in to the Chrome box and hopefully boot up into it. All right, when powering on the Chrome box, I hit Escape, and this is the boot menu that I got. So uh, I'm going to boot into, again, that USB uh, stick and see if this boots up into Batisera. Let's see. All right, it looks like it is working. Um, unfortunately, this is, uh, I think this is in a different language, uh, which I totally forgot about. I totally forgot I even downloaded this build, uh, but I think some of these games are gonna be in a different language. Some of the, some of the menu um, text is gonna be in a different language, but that's okay. I just really wanna test this out and, you know, see if this works. And, you know, right now I'm pretty happy that this booted in about a Sarah. Um, so really happy about this. Basically, it worked. So a um, lot of potential here. I uh, can't wait to try this out. So uh, I'm just going to try out a game. All right, so let's try uh, Aladdin. And Aladdin, there we go. And audio is not working right now. But that's okay, I'm just gonna see if the game runs. And yeah, as you can see, uh, some of the game options are in a different language, but that's okay. Uh, just wanna see if this works, and it looks like it is. I'm very happy. I'm probably just gonna do a fresh um, Batisera build for this Chrome box. But uh, yeah, we are working. So my plan is to get a 256 gig SSD for this Chrome box along with 8 gigs of RAM and then install Batacera on it and fill it with games from uh, the older systems like Sega Genesis, SNES, uh, some arcades, some Atari 2600 and 5200. Uh, I'm not sure if this chip will be able to run PS1, but I'll certainly try. And if this can run up to PS1 and even PSP, I'd be really fine with that. Uh, I know this won't be able to run Wii or PS2 games, but that's cool. Um, then for one of the other Chrome boxes, I want to try to install Linux, either Linux Mint or Ubuntu. Uh, but this was a different type of video for me. Hope you guys liked it and found it helpful. I'll do another video when I try to install Linux on one of those other Chrome boxes. But that's going to do it for this video. Please hit that like and subscribe button. I would appreciate it. Thanks for watching.